I'm a robber! Hello. I found a box full of masks. A bear mask. Hello, I'm a bear. <laughs> oh, now this is a silly mask. Who's a pretty boy then? Who's a pretty boy then? I need a mirror. I've got one here somewhere. Here we are. Oh, don't I look different? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mobble. We saw you looking in the mirror. It must be nice to know what you look like. Have you never seen yourself in a mirror, Boris? No, never. I've no idea what I look like. There must be a mirror around here somewhere. I can tell you what you look like, Boris. You've got shelves and big eyes. And funny green hair. And a mouth that looks like a book. Oh, I sound quite handsome. Ready, Boris? Ta-da! Ah, what's that? <laughs> it's you, Boris. It's your reflection. Well, well, my reflection. <laughs> what a surprise. There you are, dear. You see, you are very handsome. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am, aren't I? May I see my record? Raffle. Raffle. Your reflection, Twinkle. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> and there's you, Chloe. Yes, that's me, dear. Now, Boris, have you got a story for me today? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes, I have. Uh, 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 here it is. Stand back, Mr. Mapple. Thank you, Boris. Can I come and sit with you, Mr. Mopple? Yes, of course you can, Twinkle. The story's called The Ugly Duckling. Once upon a time, there was a mother duck who had seven little ducklings. Six of them were soft and fluffy and yellow and said, Quack! The seventh duckling was quite different. He was grey and spiky and could only say, Hunk! <laughs> the other ducklings called him ugly and never played with him. His mother would shake her head and say, Quack! Are you sure you are mine? You're a funny sort of duck. The big ducks hissed and pecked at him. Go away, quack, they quacked. We don't like you, quack. Poor little duckling. That night, the ugly duckling swam far away and hid in some reeds by a pond. Hunk, no one wants me. He sniffed. Before long, winter came. Snow fell and there was ice on the pond. The ugly duckling 
had no mother to snuggle up against and keep warm. Hunk, he said to himself, I am so unhappy. Are you all right, Twinkle? Yes. Then one bright morning, he woke up to find the snow and ice had melted. Feeling strong, he tried his wings. They had grown through the winter and he soared up into the clear blue sky. He's getting bigger, isn't he? Yes, he's growing. Look, there he is again. Soon, summer had come. One day, he saw some beautiful white birds. Honk, said the beautiful birds. Hello, come and swim with us. Honk, who me? Said the ugly duckling. Swim with you? But I'm just an ugly duckling. No one wants me. You are not ugly and you're not a duckling, they said. You are a young swan, just like us. Look at yourself in the water and you will see. The ugly duckling looked down into the water and saw his own reflection. Just like looking in a mirror. Yes, that's right. He was a swan. That's why he didn't look like the ducklings. He's a swan! And he flew away with the other swans and lived happily ever after. Hunk, hunk! He wasn't different anymore! It shouldn't matter if we're different anyway, dear. <laughs> Look at us. We're all different, but we're still friends. Oh, yes. So those ducks were really nasty, weren't they? They were horrible. Thank you, Boris. Bung. Time to go. Time to go. Well, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye Mr. Mr. Mopple. Thank you for reading the story. to put the masks away. Oh, it's a cat mask. Do I look like Twinkle? No. Nobody looks like Twinkle or Boris or Chloe. I've got to get home now, but I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>